Hi everyone, we're about to go on a scuba diving adventure. But first, let's say hello to the ducks. Quack. Here are the doves. Oh, see you later. Look at this one's fluffy feet. These ducks with the squidgy faces are called Muscovy ducks. And that is a cockerel. Look at him strutting his stuff. This dive centre has a lot of pets. Who knew? Let's go find Greg and get ready for the dive. Maddie, are you still filming the ducks? Me? No. Maybe. Come on. Today we're diving in Sri Lanka in an area called Unawatuna. There are lots of dive sites to visit, but we are going with this one. And we already have a dive plan. We're going to dive off a boat and we're going to make our way. Oh, sorry, that was the cockerel. We'll dive down to 25 meters deep and then we'll spiral our way back to the shallows, stopping at five meters before we come to the surface. Okay, to the boats. There's one being pushed out to the water already, but that's not ours. This one is. And there's all our scuba gear being loaded in. Let me quickly introduce you to our dive master, Prabath. Greg, help us push the boat. I gotcha. Come on. A little further. Heave. <laughs> in we get. Let's go. Whoa, this thing travels fast. It's a bit of a bumpy ride. I think we might be here. The boat is slowing down. We are. That's the anchor going overboard. Time to gear up. First, I'll give my mask a rinse. And now for our fins. Greg, are you happy with your tank? All good. How's your air? I've got air and my jacket is safe. OK, pop your breathing regulator in. And after three... Two, three... Let's dive. Down we go. You coming, Mads? Oh, it's beautiful. It really is. I'm just clearing my ears. The change in pressure makes them pop. We're keeping hold of the anchor line to guide us down to the bottom. Whoa, the current is strong today. It's a bit darker down here too. Hold on to the rope tight. We are swaying all over the place. Nearly there. Oh, we made it. All right, let's stick together and see what we can discover. Join along at home and count how many things you see. Maddie, I've already spotted some reef fish. Those two with the long white dorsal fin are banner fish. Uh, and that blue and yellow one is a type of angel fish. It's a blue ring angel fish. You can tell because it's got a blue ring surrounding a spot just above its gills. Did you see it? I think so. There are two more munching on sponges and algae over here. Oh, there's the blue ring spot. I can see it. Nice. Bye, angel fish. Whoa, look up there. There is a huge shoal of fish. Or is it a school of fish? You say school, I say shoal. Mm. They have a bright yellow flash along their sides. They could be yellow tail snapper, but I'm not sure. Hello, little ones. Oh, my goodness. Greg, Greg, oh, Greg, look, look. What is it? In the distance, by the pointy rock, it's a... Lionfish. I see it. Whoa, look at it. So fancy. Nah, don't be fooled by its stripy body and flashy fins, because those spiny bits could give you a nasty sting. They are packed with venom. Lionfish have lived in the waters of Sri Lanka and Indonesia for a very long time, but sadly in some parts of the world they've become invasive. That means that there are a lot more than there should be in one area. It's because humans released them into the wild in places where they don't have many natural predators. However, this one is just where it should be. Come on, let's keep our distance. And our guide's waiting. Hmm, I wonder what we'll see next. <laughs> Look at this coral. It looks like a lumpy, bumpy, grumpy face. Hello. OK, you. We've been down here long enough. Let's make our way up to shallower waters. Hang on. Prabath has seen something. Over there? An octopus? No way! The water is so murky, it's tough to see anything. It's there. I can see its dark body. It's just squeezed down into the rocks. Those are its eyes poking out. Uh, and you can just about see some of the suckers on one of its eight arms. I can't believe it. Octopuses are one of my favourite animals. Wow, look at its skin. Yeah, octopuses can change the colour and texture of their skin in fractions of a second. Sometimes they do it to help them hide in their surroundings, which this one is doing brilliantly. We call this camouflage. But other times it could be a sign that the octopus feels angry or threatened. We don't want to upset any animals, so let's leave this one be. Wow, 
That was cool. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. That is a powder blue tang. I think they're enjoying swimming in the current. Whee! <laughs> Woo! It's using its little beak-like mouth to nibble on all that algae. Oh, down it goes. Hey, Greg, look, look. It's some type of crayfish crawling back into its hole. Can you see its super long antennae poking out? It uses those to sense vibrations to help them find food and scent when predators might be nearby. There's another one in a hole over here, too. And there's a spiny starfish. Hey, buddy. Two awesome finds. One place. There's also this cool purple coral that looks like a bunch of snakes. Nice. That's Gorgonian coral. There's loads here, too. And another beautiful school of fish. Or is it shoal of fish? I see what you did there. I can tell you what this is, though. It's a honeycomb grouper. Yeah, the pattern on its skin looks like honeycomb. Off it goes. Time for one last thing before we head up. Wait, what's that? Prabath, what have you found? Down there? It's a sea turtle. <gasps> wow. Maybe it's resting under the rocks to get out of the current. Totally. Hey, dude. It's hard to tell without seeing its whole shell, but I think that's a green sea turtle. What a brilliant way to end the dive. Amazing. Back to the anchor line then, so we can make our way up to the boat. We have to do our five metre safety stop first though. You okay down there? Yeah, I'm all good. We've just got one minute left, so it's time to say goodbye. Mads, what do we always say? Subscribe for more videos, stay curious, and we'll see you soon. Bye!